Now, another very, very useful grip variation for us to use for scissor sweeps is a two-on-one grip. Most of the time, when we grip for scissor sweeps, we prefer to get solid grips into our training partner's lapels or grips where we control both sides of our opponent's body at the same time. This one's a little different. We're going to get a hold of our training partner with a cross cuff grip, just like so. The good news is, that's a pretty easy grip to get. Why? Because most of the time, our opponent's trying to gather up our two lapels and go to work. So typically, this grip is pretty easy to get. Now, we're going to go through and we're going to get a grip here on the back of our training partner's tricep. If he were to try to pull away from me, it'd be quite difficult. This is a very robust grip. Make sure when we use this grip, we always aim for the seam that runs down the back of every sleeve, regardless of your opponent's gi manufacturer. We get that good grip and lock up high on the tricep. From here, we start the usual action of pivoting our hips out and bringing our knee right here in front of our training partner's shoulder and our second foot here to our training partner's hip. Now, as always, the primary emphasis is on bringing the head forward and loading up his weight onto one leg. So we bring the knee forward and bring him out of balance. Now, all of his weight is on his left knee. That's gonna create the ideal circumstance to drop our foot and engage in either a reaping action, if the hip is over the knee, or if his knees are far apart, a pushing action to send the man over with the scissor. Once again, we have an opponent here in our closed guard. We go through, and we secure the cross cuff grip, my left hand to his left sleeve cuff. Now we go through and we get the seam that runs down the back of every sleeve. So if he tried to pull away from me, it would be a difficult thing to do so. Once we get a hold of our training partner like so, it's not difficult for us to start that action that puts our body into the classic scissor. I've got a high scissor in action that drives his weight over that uh, knee and a foot in his lower back, which draws his head forward. As a result, the scissor sweep is a very easy thing to hit. Sometimes when you hit these moves, you'll have opponents who move away from you when they feel your closed guard is opened and you're starting to move in, and they move away. Understand that the scissor sweep is still very powerful under these circumstances. We can still draw our training partner forward, and we can still either reap or put the foot here on the knee. You have quite a long reach with your two legs. So even as he goes to move away from you, it's quite easy to draw the man forward and send them over with a good scissor in action. This is just another way in which we use different kinds of grips to hit the same kind of mechanical sweep.